Hey, it's Blake. So behind me is a large avocado tree from seed. It's about two to three years old almost. And I, I made a structure in here and I put a, a bag frost cloth around it. Also, I put lights around it as well and uh, wanted to show everyone to see how it's doing. I also have a, a coconut tree, coconut palm in a container with inside I wanted to see how if it stayed warm enough in there and also I have a grafted mango tree that I got from down south from Marjorie's family's tree that they grew from seed and we called it Anna because that's my girlfriend's mom's name it's good uh, good fruit real dark orange has a little bit of stringiness in it but real sweet and has some sourness to it let's go up under here and check it out And look. Coconut still alive. Didn't even die. It has a little bit of burntness, but it's still kicking. Look at the mango that I grafted. Let's go up under here. I hurt nobody. And look. I grafted it, and it's still a few, about a month ago, I looked, and it had new leaves. And look, the leaves have already hardened in here. Look at that. So this does really work. If you're able to cover the whole structure. And uh, in this area I've been putting a lot of mulch down every year. So that's probably putting off heat. So this is that mango. So when on cool, cooler nights I put these lights on. And they do put off heat. As long as the wind's not blowing. And with this structure it's, it's bound to not let any wind in. There's the coconut. Now this one was mixed with the yellow coconut and the green one. So it might have some sort of more cold hardiness to it. I have my other one in the other place and it pretty much died. So here's the avocado. I can lean up. You see right here, I grabbed this cold hardy uh, I think it was Lila to it. It's doing fine and not much discoloration to this one So it actually stayed warmer in here more humid There you have it So if you have no wind blowing off out of your blowing the heat out Things are gonna be fine for you Look at that Still kicking There you have it. There's the proof right there. And um, also this area is under some trees. There's the fantastic. It's doing pretty good. Got a little bit of burn, but not much. They can really handle these cold weather. Um, I end up tilling in this area to loosen the soil. It was so compacted I didn't realize how bad it was through here. And but I put it around the fig trees. They like it. Figs are doing good. They got burnt a little bit. The tips, look. It was so cold out here, I believe it got under 20. And it killed the tips of the figs. And it messed up a lot of the plants in this greenhouse. I eventually just put a plastic over top of it. I was just seeing if I could get away with it. But uh, the frost cloth I used was a thinner material and it just the cold was just soaking seeking in and I have so much extension cords out here it was just cutting the power off when I did try to put a, a heat source in here so uh, it was a it was a learning I learned a lot let's see let's go look in here but yeah I didn't I thought I was gonna lose more than I thought I was going to I mean I thought I was gonna lose a lot but I didn't lose as much as I thought I did. Some stuff more likely to come back. But this staying warmer in here. Um, I only did like half. And I didn't really secure it that well. Just to get me through this these next few months. 
and uh, I'll redo this structure. For right now, I'm just gonna just accept it what it is. It is what it is, you know. Can't get upset about it. I mean, I knew better. really should have another beam going across but I just put this here real quick so I could have the plastic here just to hold the metal you really should have another beam going on the side and side to kind of hold this up and these pipes are too skinny anyway but they're working believe it or not it's holding up it's doing what I kind of wanted it to do um, the Atomoy I had it it's seen better days and that's crazy it's pushing back out again I thought I'd lost it it's alive see that just shows you I thought it was dead but it's pushing out right here um, I don't see anywhere else it's pushing oh it's pushing out in that corner right there too Wow might even take that's crazy it's alive oh there is the buds they're inside here see that's why you gotta not give up on anything so this that's the one I think it was a Lisa so here's the other coconut this was a different type and uh, it looks dead but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give up on it yet this was a um, Chimba Jack I think it's a jackfruit mixed with a uh, Chimpadak, I think, and it's, I had transplanted and it went in shock and then it went through some cold and I was just like, oh, I'm going to lose it. It's still alive. Isn't that crazy? Yes, it's crazy. And here is some, um, now check this out. This just shows you a lot about a species of plant, but they'll have different cold hardiness to it. So this is the mango from Marjorie's family's tree. See? It's fine, healthy green. Look, this was a Kent one. Things looks dead. You may think, oh, because it was smaller or bigger. I, I just, I think there's cold hardiness to uh, mangoes. And I think this is a type of um, Indian type because it does a lot of multi multi mangoes that push up and that's the one I grafted over there from the same tree and it's still growing I know here's another one so I'm very very curious about them and this right here is the cinnamon apple it's in the Asope family in the same family of uh, I believe my maize and stuff I could be wrong but you know, sope means soft fruit. But this one, believe it or not, actually is growing pretty well. And when it had that really cold night, just the tips burned. I was, I could not believe it. I was like, wow, they must live in a somewhat of a cooler environment. That's just how you learn. And in here, just by putting the plastic up, it has, it's about 20 degrees warmer in here. I'm sweating a little bit and outside is about 65 so it feels about 70 something to 80 here's the GAC and it is uh, they said it was all tropical you know super tropical and stuff but look this thing has died back and shot back up with no issues so you hear these people say that you need to just try to grow it yourself and see Look, these, these plants are surprising me. Very surprised about a lot of them. Now, remember how I talked about the uh, the Cary starfruit tree? Out of the, all the other ones, the other ones died back to at least down to here or halfway. But the Cary, she's, she's still holding on. This baby's still holding on. She's pushing out new little leaves. Up here is a little damaged. It's still pushing out, but here it got damaged. But it's 
carry. I say everyone buy carries. They're, they seem to be more cold hardier. See these got beat up. They're coming back. This egg fruit, it just, it did not do good. And I, I'm seeing that in, in different egg fruits, there's corn hardiness to it. Now I'm going to leave it alone. It might shoot back up from the ground. We're going to find out. This one came from the fruit and spice part. From a tasty one. Oh, this is that uh, elephant ear or uh, monkey ear seed pod. Or got a, uh, hang on, so to the G. I almost said it. Then I think I tongue twist myself. I'll, um, you know the name of it. I've been growing them out. But they're they're actually really cold hardy. The one outside, it just lost its leaf and the trunk's still there alive. And I just could not believe it. So they they have a cold hardiness to them. This is one of them yellow guavas and it's coming back. On the super cold nights, I just put a little pot over it. And um, some of these other guavas. This is one from over in Tally that we were growing in the container. That did the air layer on and it's coming back. <clears throat> these uh, Ceron cherries, they do pretty good here. And under 20. And these... Um, these uh, strawberry guavas, these catleys, they do super good. Now when you have tons of wind involved and then you're, you're looking for some trouble. Oh yeah, and about these two, they also create their own nitrogen, so that's why I'm trying to learn about them. Then, trying to think. I bought these... Uh, these date palms, or I didn't actually buy the buy the palms. I bought the seeds of them. They're pretty cold hardy. Right here, I even left some outside and they didn't even die. So I'm I'm curious about them. Here's some white sapote from David down south, or South Florida, and they're pretty cold hardy. I didn't have any issues in the greenhouse because I was able to control the wind outside. Wind hit a lot of the plants and messed them up. Here I planted a lot of, <laughs> here I planted, not spit, different um, egg fruit seeds and black sapote from my Bodie, from his tree, his delicious fruits. And um, I, think I, had a, I think I had a mouse grabbing them and eating them. Everything wants a piece of, uh, I guess it's selecting the best of the best. Here's one that's shot up, maybe the... The moss won't get it. The uh, fungus gnats are kind of bad in here. I'm trying to put stickers, sticky traps. I really should put like a little, some type of screening over it. We'll see. I can't believe this was pushing out. It lived. I know it had some cold hardiness to it, but it, I actually left it outside unprotected when it was up in the 20s. And uh, I hurried and tried to put this together and um it was it was worth it hmm i know look at all everything it's coming back this one uh got beat up i can't remember the name um let's look at this right here here's groomy chama and this thing's super cold hardy no no discoloration this came from john he Took a cutting off of his large one. I can't wait for it to make flowers. Oh, that, that'd be cool if that was flower buds. I'm sure that's just leaves. Here's some more um, catley guavas, the strawberry. Oh, these mames are pretty tough. They held on. That one about died. These held on. So in the mames, there's different cold tolerance within the, the different trees. So I got to label which one did the best. And this one actually grew through another pot, so I gotta figure that out. So it's in a double pot. Here's the other um, other carabola that didn't do that great. Flantong. So this one, I would just assume that it has more of a it's more tropical. I mean, I'm gonna still grow it out. 
but it it died from way up here and I cut it back but then I only see a sprout right here and um, we'll see what else pops up I think in here even got destroyed from the wind but um, there's definitely a sprout here and up in here on the small branch but um, at least it's above the graph the graphs right here so that's still good I can regrow it but we'll just have to grow it in the greenhouse I can't take a chance here anymore there's another there's a few black spotties popping up They're doing good see there's some more of them the date palms oh they taste so good the seat the fruit it's like yellow date Here's another gack. Oh, here's my Anona, one of them. And I had some that died to the ground and then some that actually completely died. This one actually was pretty cold hardy. So with that said, I'll probably just actually grow that out and not graft it just because it was able to withstand the cool temps. Now this one came from the fruit and spice park. And I nearly lost it. But it still seems to be alive. The top's dead and it'll start growing back. But this one tasted really good. And this one also tasted just as good. Here's some more Mame that was pretty cold hardy. These are just Cherimoya, the graft. And I'm catching them fungus gnats. Irritating. Really irritating. So this is a good time to start grafting your cherimoya and stuff. I need to get to it. So look, here's um, here's where a, a little mu a mouse came in here and thought it was a good idea to chew on my, my uh, the pot, my uh, I can't even talk. You know? They thought it was a good idea to chew on the uh, pineapple that I just planted. I mean, I, I'd nod against the mice they feed the owls out here and this is out in the woods so I you can't just try to eliminate everything it's because they're coming in from this side I don't really have it protected that much I'm not trying to kill everything here I did a cutting from a weeping willow tree just to see how it do it's, and it does pretty good from cutting and here's the elderberry just want to see how it do I just stuck them in the ground Here's a lychee that I planted or grew from seed and it's actually it's done pretty good through cold weather. So I'm going to grow it out and see what it turns out to be. So I hear, I heard it from John, he was telling me that within like a hundred fruits of a lychee, one will be real delicious. But you have more luck with the longans being real delicious from seed. Why not try it out? See what it does. And um... Oh, here's another egg for it. They did pretty good. Yep, I'm happy with everything. This was a um, Barbados cherry. It got really hit. Don't know if it's going to come back. Usually this means it probably died. The way it looks, it looks dead to me. One way to tell is come down where the trunk is here. Oh, it's still alive. Cool. This one's still alive. But um, if you know for a fact that that limb's dead, you just kind of scrape at it a little bit. This ain't going to hurt the tree. It'll grow back. And you'll see that the color of it. And also, the, uh, the trunk will usually be discolored. And this is not discolored. I'm amazed how how tough it was. This is the uh, out of the five I had of the giant milkweed. Out of two I had was showed more cold hardiness to it. The other ones died, and then luckily I gave one to my friend as a backup. I wanted him to have one. And this uh, guava behind it actually is coming back. 
I mean, it's crazy. And it really got hit. And do, and let me tell you, these sapodillas, or they call them in Spanish, knee spettle, they're pretty tough too. Look how cold hardy that is. And I left it out and about. And I finally brought it in. So yeah. Here's a carrot tree. They're invasive down south. I left one out and it's pretty cold hardy. And they call them the carrot tree from Australia. They make a they got pretty wood too. Here's that here's that type of plant that tastes like cilantro. They call it cilantro or something. But it's not a true cilantro, it just tastes like it. Uh, David gave that to me. I ran out some of the lemongrass and different uh, savanna grass from seed. Alright, just hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed looking at this. This is just half of what I got growing, you know. But you know, the ones in the other greenhouse they they did a lot better because they were they were in a smaller greenhouse and also that greenhouse had a heat source and it had plastic over top of it. But other than that I'm I'm still happy what happened. I kept them alive, they didn't all die. If I didn't have anything out here they would be dead. So it was all, it still worked for me. And I'm happy. Here's the Kohala Longan. This one was more cold hardy than the BK one I had. The BK one pretty much died to the ground. But the Kohala held its ground. And it's just got a few burnts on it. And I, I'm wondering if this one's also a Kohala that I got down south. They, didn't, they sold it to me as a lychee and I didn't know the difference at the time. And I realized they had different leaf pattern than a lychee. And this definitely is a long one. But uh, it's a, it's cold hardy. It, it was pretty tough. It didn't lose much at all, much leaves. So I'm impressed. Thank you for everything. Alright, we'll catch you later. Talk to you soon.